lesson, we're going to talk about closing costs that are associated with a mortgage loan. So the closing costs are the costs associated with the transfer of property from the seller to the buyer, which may include fees for the property survey, loan application, document preparation, and points. So we're going to go into this in a little bit more detail. So to find our closing costs, we're just going to add everything together. But some of these costs are associated with a percentage of what you are actually going to mortgage. Now I'm going to talk about some of these. And these are not universal. It depends on the bank and what you've negotiated with them to what as to which fees are going to actually be included in your closing costs. So this is just a generic table that we're going to use throughout the lesson. So typically you're going to have some kind of application fee. They're also going to have to do a credit check on your credit background. So you're going to have to pay for that credit check. There may be points associated. So this is the, the direct cost of taking out a mortgage and what you pay the bank directly. There also could be an appraisal fee. So if you're buying a home, that's already established, you might have to have that home appraised. You might also have to have someone come out and look over the property and make sure everything is intact. So that would be an additional fee. You will have a title search, a title search of the home or the property to make sure it's free and clear of any back taxes paid on that property. With that, you might have a title insurance included as well. There's the inspection fee. That was what I was talking about earlier. The inspection fee is someone that will have to come out and inspect the home and make sure that the value matches the mortgage and it is the value of the home is not less than what you're mortgaging. That's your inspection fee. Now, when you go to close, you'll have some extra fees, including attorney fees. So when you, you hire an attorney to do your end of the paperwork, or to do your title searches and things like that, you have an additional fee. Now, again, 450 is just a generic amount. You could pay $1,200, you could pay 75. That needs to be negotiable and you need to shop around for the most reasonably priced attorney. Document, documentation stamp. So, at closing, you're going to have to have a notary present to complete all of the documentation. So you're going to pay for that documentation stamp and a processing fee that you'll pay to the bank. And that's also a percentage of the mortgage. Like I said, these are just generic and some banks will use all of these. Some banks will might have less. It's going to pe depend on where you purchase your mortgage from. So for our first example, we're going to calculate the closing costs for a $125,000 home that we're going to put 20% down on. So the bank is going to allow us to finance your closing costs. Now, not all banks will do that. So you need to make sure that you won't have to pay your closing costs out of pocket. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate our down payment. So our down payment is going to be 20% of that $125,000. So if I do a quick calculation, I find that that is $25,000. That means that my mortgage loan or my principal is going to be for $100,000. All right, so every time I do one of these percentages, I'm going to base it off of the $100,000 because that $25,000 is already taken out and paid to the bank. So we're definitely going to have an application fee. So that is going to remain $252. The borrower's credit check will be $65. We're going to pay 2% of the mortgage. So the mortgage is going to be $100,000. So we're going to calculate that 2%. We're going to take $325 for the appraisal fee. We're going to take the title search to be $212. Title insurance is 410, inspection is 350, attorney fee is 450. The documentation stamp is 0.3%. Now don't forget that we still need to move that decimal two places. 
So that's going to be 0 .003 times $100,000. That's what I'm going to add into this. I keep those in parentheses. And we'll also have a processing fee of 1.10%. So I'm going to move that decimal place two places to the left times that $100,000. So I can actually do all of this together. I'm going to add all of these individual numbers and then even add in the 2% of 100,000, the 0.3% of 100,000, and the 1.1% 1 .1 of 100,000. That's going to give me closing costs that total $5,464 when we add all of those together. Now, what am I actually going to finance? So we're going to take our mortgage amount, which is $100,000, and we're going to add our closing costs to that because we're going to incorporate those closing costs into our mortgage. So the amount that we're going to finance is actually going to be one hundred five. dollars thousand dollars fix that one hundred five thousand four hundred sixty four dollars that's going to be the amount that we finance and this is our closing costs so from there then you can calculate what your monthly payment is if you're going to be given the percent rate so make sure you pay attention to what is given all right so you can see that we're just adding everything together very simply. All right, so look at this next problem. It's, so our selling price in this problem is $100,000. The bank requires a 10% down payment for this one. So 10%, so I'm gonna calculate my down payment at 10% of 100,000. So that's a simple math problem. My down payment will be $10,000. So that means that my amount that I'm going to finance is going to be $90,000. So this is the number that we're going to use for all of our closing costs. So we're going to take and add all these together. I'm going to take 252 plus 65 plus 2% of 90,000. Notice I'm just going to write that out and put those in parentheses. Plus 325 plus 212 plus 410, I'm going to add in the inspection, the attorney fees, and I'm going to be very careful with the documentation stamp. Move that decimal place two times, and that amount financed is 90,000. And then we're going to add in there 0 .011 of the 90,000 as well. So this is going to give us our closing costs all together and our closing cost all together is going to be given at five thousand one hundred twenty four dollars and then we're going to go ahead and calculate the amount financed so the amount financed will be the ninety thousand dollar mortgage plus the closing cost of five thousand one hundred twenty four dollars giving us a principal of $95,124. So those are all of the costs that are associated with taking out a mortgage from either a mortgage lender broker or a bank. Now again, these are going to fluctuate as to what the prices actually are and what your individual lender will add or not add on to your loan. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you all have a great day.